Uh, I've been crafting instruments since I was uh, 12 years old. I'm a master luthier. I make some of the finest violins, violas, cellos, and basses in the world, and we do it all in Kansas City. Really, to me, the most important part of making instruments is once the instrument is finished, having the player play on the instrument and seeing their eyes light up uh, because then they found a soulmate. Uh, because the professional string player uh, spends more time with their instrument than they do with their spouse. And so they need to be in love with their instrument. My name is Joseph Tola. Uh, I played since when I was uh, nine years old and uh, overseas. I started the violin. I uh, became in love with the violin, with the sound of the violin. When I moved from overseas to here, I kept looking for a uh, violin, also something uh, new I can uh, play. And I became in love with this violin. It's made by Anton Cruz. Um, it's 2005. It's wonderful. The, uh, the instruments that were uh, considered the best in the world were made in Italy and specifically in the town of Cremona. If it wasn't for the violin makers there, it really wouldn't even be known. But it happened to be in that town, uh, Stradivari, Niccolò Amati, and a lot of other uh, master uh, makers uh, lived and, and they worked. And it happened to be that the, uh, that the culture that they had and that the recipes that they had uh, were really superior in the sound. The uh, trees that we use have to grow in the mountains and in the middle of winter because that's when all the sap is down, all the leaves are down, and the wood has to be cut down at that time. And it has to be cut in the mountains because the tree is actually much more dense in the mountains than if it's growing at sea level. And it's called tone wood, specifically for bowstring string instruments. And if we see samples of the tone wood, we really like it, then we order the whole tree. So we, we have whole entire trees cut up and drying for 10 years after it's cut up before we use the wood to make an instrument. My instruments are played all over the world. Uh, we have instruments from New York Philharmonic to LA Philharmonic and uh, in, in London, in, uh, uh, in Russia, uh, Taiwan. I think my violins in the future, maybe decades in the future, will be known as some of the best instruments in the world. If we continue the path that we're on, that Kansas City and Miriam, Kansas will be mentioned as uh, in the same breath as Cremona for the instruments that are made here. In the violin world, uh, uh, we encourage all the players to play our instruments and, and if they haven't and they love ours, we encourage the divorce from their instrument. That, that kind of change in your life benefits the player because then they actually are enjoying the instrument even more because they found a sound that they, uh, that they are connected to on a much deeper level. I, I tried a couple of violins around the city. I didn't like much, uh, and then, but I became in love with this one. And then it took me a while to, you know, it's, you have to try it a couple of times until it becomes part of me. Uh, that's how I believe in the, uh, in the violin. So this is the sound, what I like. Players, as they get better, they realize themselves that they want a better instrument most of the time, but not all the time. I had, for instance, uh, an experience with a, a young lady who wanted to be a, a professional player, and she thought that uh, the instrument needed adjustment to, to make it a little better because uh, it wasn't sounding as good to her as, 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 as it used to be. And I played on the instrument and it sounded phenomenal for that type of instrument and I heard her play and I realized she is way more advanced for that instrument than, than she even realized. And so I brought out one of my professional line of instruments and she started playing on that and right then and there started crying because she can feel herself hear what she wanted to hear. She realized, wow, I needed the better instrument. As a violin maker, I'm a craftsman. And so my focus is on making the greatest instruments I can right now. And so when the player loves the instrument, it's fantastic. I know that the player is going to be playing on it for decades. I know that the instrument is going to survive and be played for centuries to come. When you have that kind of connection, it's a much more emotional and powerful bond. That's why when you look at films, you have uh, string uh, soundtracks in the back of films because that is what gives emotion. Without a string soundtrack in Jaws, you just have a fish swimming around. In Gone with the Wind, you just have people kissing. You know, in Star Wars, you just have uh, you know, spaceships flying around. The string soundtrack is what gives emotion. 